Thank you very much for joining me on this Sunday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I want to touch on this right off the bat. The eastern Pacific is very active right now. There's Fernanda, and that's moving away from land, but there's a new system developing off the coast of Central America, and there's a higher likelihood that this one curls up towards southwest Mexico, the Baja, and even southern California. We had a system impact southern California last year. So again, this one could become a hurricane, which would be Greg. Since there's so much going on, I'm covering that over on Earth QC just to kind of split things apart because I don't want to short anybody any information out there. So on YouTube, go to Earth QC and I want to show you this system how it will try to make a curl closer to the coast. I've got you covered there on Earth QC. Let me get to this right now. And again, I'll look deeper into the hurricane season as well. Let's start with this across the Caribbean. Gulf of Mexico, we're pretty quiet. We have one little upper spin here that has been bringing some rain to parts of Jamaica. Again, that's not down at the surface. It's not developed tropically in nature, but a little disturbance sliding by. So as expected, uh, rain chance has been a little bit higher Western Caribbean uh, so far today. And then a new tropical wave, not a big one, but that brought some rain to St. Vincent of the Grenadines, for example, overnight. We had some thunder and lightning around still near St. Vincent of the Grenadines. Uh, Tobago, we've been seeing the rain. Trinidad and Tobago will see a chance of some showers and storms. We've seen some near St. Lucia and Barbados. Most has been just to the south. And in the Dominican Republic, we've seen a little flare up of some rain and storms the last hour. So I'm going to break this down with a computer model in just a second as that slides into the Eastern Caribbean. Watching this strong tropical waves out here, but you see not a lot of action right here. So as these waves come off, uh, they've been uh, getting eaten by this dry air. But what's gradually going to happen is, and what's already starting to happen is, some of this dry air you're seeing in this orange shading here is going to be lifting up to the north. So in the short term, conditions not super favorable out here because of the dry air. So these tropical waves tend to fall apart. But what's going to happen is, and I want to show you a map for this in just a second, even these weaker tropical waves will eventually move into the Caribbean. Conditions in the Caribbean are more likely, they're conducive for development. Things are more likely to spin up. So there is a possibility that while these tropical waves may stay weak in the short term, once they eventually move into the Caribbean like this, they may strengthen and they may spin up. This would be my, I'm going way out in time here. This would be my next weekend. You see that little flare up of rain. Now, uh, this is the American model, but almost all the models are showing a flare up of some rain here from a tropical wave, which is telling me there's going to at least be a strong tropical wave near the Caribbean by the time we get into this upcoming weekend. And there is the possibility it does eventually spin up into a tropical storm. The American model is doing that. They're saying, hey, we're going to have a weak tropical wave because of the dry air, but it will hang together, move into the Caribbean where there's a little more moisture in the atmosphere. Then it will strengthen and eventually potentially strengthen into a tropical storm sometime in about a week to week and a half. This will change because again, this is way down the road, but this is what I was talking about. And then again, I showed you a little bit of this in yesterday's video. And let me show you how it kind of coincides, how it kind of agrees with the European model. Not totally. They're not sure. The models are trying to figure out, hey, which tropical wave is actually going to develop. We'll wait and see. Again, the end of the month is definitely going to be more active, but let me take out in time here. Here's Florida, Bahamas, Cuba, Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados right there, Venezuela right here. So this is by the time we get into midweek. Now the European model is seeing a lot of moisture uh, right through here. Not seeing any signs of development yet through the middle of the week, but they are seeing the model itself, a strong computer, uh, seeing some of these uh, tropical waves just kind of hanging together, stronger tropical waves. Now taking out in time, this is by the time we get into the end of the upcoming week. It's watching one tropical wave in particular right here, but it's still not developing it into a tropical depression or tropical storm yet it is consistently developing another wave it's saying hey we're gonna have two strong waves come off this week the second one it has it developing but then it kind of has this one staying out to sea but the first wave while it's not showing a lot of development it is showing increased moisture back through the Caribbean much like the American model is showing so you see it here again it is showing a lot of moisture building up uh, the American model is showing a tropical storm developing in the Caribbean European model is not seeing that, uh, but it is seeing a buildup of moisture. And then it's seeing another strong tropical wave back behind it. So the 
European model seeing a lot of activity out there starting to kind of build uh, and then it is seeing some stuff developing potentially into named systems not showing that for the Caribbean yet but it is showing some of the extra moisture and because this environment is more conducive to development I've got my eyes closely on this by the time we get into the upcoming weekend and deeper into the following week a week and a half away because something could spin up closer to home while we are likely to have a name system or two out here in the open waters of the Atlantic. So right now, this is exactly what I was talking about, just to be very clear on this. Again, it's very dry out there. We know about that. And again, the tropical waves are struggling, but if they hang together, they move into this environment over here, which isn't quite as dry. We're still seeing, obviously, some dry weather in Sahara dust, but it's not quite as dry. So if something hangs together and moves closer to home, well, it could eventually spin up by the upcoming weekend. So that's what I'm watching out for. And then again, late in August, some of the dry air as a whole is going to lift a little bit more to the north and the atmosphere will be more conducive as a whole for development. This is very late in August and into September and that's the reason I do expect more development but of course we do get more development in September anyway. It is the peak of the hurricane season, but I like to break down the pattern and exactly what I'm seeing out there for you. So again, late August into September especially, we're going to see that pattern change headed our way. Again, watching out for some of the rain near uh, Jamaica, watching out for some of it, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And again, this flare up that I'm covering on Earth QC, you see it right here. Look at all of that. That may curl closer to Southwest Mexico and then even up towards Southern California, but I'm covering that separately just to keep things very clear since there's a lot going on this time of year. A couple scattered showers working their way back through the Bahamas. So let me show you what to expect today. Again, from Jamaica, Cayman Islands, back through the Yucatan of Mexico. Even Belize, Guatemala, got a little spin here in the upper levels. The leftovers of a tropical wave sliding by. We've got a tropical wave moving right through the uh, parts of uh, Central America now. So a higher chance of rain, Costa Rica, Panama. I've been talking about the flooding the last few days. We're going to see the flooding. And then with a weaker tropical wave, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Dominica, Guadalupe, uh, Barbados, St. Lucia, St. Vincent of the Grenadines, Grenada, scattered showers. Now, as we work our way into early in the week, not as much. It's go we're going to kind of be in between. We're going to be really hot and then all eyes will be in the coast of Africa and then you see this spin up right here. That's why I'm breaking this down uh, further on the uh, the other channel. Uh, but as we get into Tuesday, spotty showers and storms will still be possible, but then we'll see what's going to be coming off the coast of Africa. So breaking down the forecast again, this has already panned out in Jamaica. That 60% chance of rain around. Please uh, leave your location and what you're getting today in Jamaica. Very important because uh, we definitely need the rain in many spots. Trinidad and Tobago again. More of it's been toward a Tobago this morning. Scattered showers possible the next couple days with this weak tropical wave moving by. Grenada, same thing. About a 50% chance of rain, not just today, but also tomorrow. Barbados, isolated. More of it's been down to the south, just to the south uh, today. In the same thing in St. Lucia, more of it's been to the south, but overall 50% chance today and a 40% chance as we work our way into tomorrow. And as we get back towards St. Vincent of the Grenadines again, we had some of the rain already overnight. Still a 50 to 60% chance for what's left of today. Belize, scattered showers and storms possible today. 50% chance, 40% chance for tomorrow. So we go from Belize back through the Cayman Islands. Elevated chance of some rain today. Those scattered showers around. And again, I mentioned Jamaica uh, with that uh, chance of rain, which is on the elevated side. 40% chance today and tomorrow in the Bahamas. Already some scattered showers in some spots. A 30% chance for today. Turks and Caicos, a 40% chance tomorrow and into Tuesday. 40% chance today in Guadalupe, 30% chance Monday and Tuesday, and a 40% chance today in Dominica. Again, a little more is just to the south, so I've been watching that. Uh, Martinique, we could get some of the passing showers and storms today. Scatter, though, not all day stuff. 40% chance today. Puerto Rico, if you do get a storm today, uh, we could get some of those downpours. Watching out for isolated storms with the rain chance. Puerto Rico, uh, U.S. Virgin Islands, British Virgin Islands, it is a little bit lower. We get back through the Dominican Republic south side right now near Santo Domingo. We've been seeing some of the rain at least nearby. A 60% chance and watching out for those downpours. A 50% chance today in Haiti. A 40% chance.
50% chance tomorrow in Haiti, down to a 30% chance on Tuesday. St. Kitts and Nevis, passing shower, but limited. Even Montserrat, 20 to 30% chance over the next three days. Limited Antigua and Barbuda, 10 to 20% chance. Uh, and same thing in Anguilla, the next couple days, the rain chance lower. Yes, a passing shower, but again, the rain chance not high. 20% chance St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia. As we work our way into Curacao, rain chance 10 to 20%. Uh, that's it. Aruba yesterday, we had a couple little showers nearby, uh, a couple sprinkles and spots. We'll take it. Uh, 10 to 20% chance today into early in the upcoming week. Guyana, 30% chance today, a 40% chance tomorrow and Tuesday. Suriname, a 30% chance, very isolated the next couple days, and about a 30 to 40% chance as we work our way back through northern Venezuela today and into early in the week. And again, Costa Rica and Panama, that much higher chance of rain. Watching out for that flood threat very carefully. I've been showing you that. So the dangerous heat rolls on. The next two weeks, stronger tropical waves move off, gradually watching that hurricane season pattern change. Some will spin up into storms, and I'm a little, not concerned, but I'm watching very closely. Again, the weaker tropical waves that move into the Caribbean because there is a better likelihood by the end of the upcoming week uh, that one could spin up. And then again, looking more active overall late August into September. And more on that developing system, which looks to become Hurricane Greg on the Eastern Pacific side. Find that on EarthQC on YouTube. Thanks for joining me and have a great rest of your day.